Let the set B be an ordered basis for P3. Find the coordinate vector of f of x equals seven x cubed plus four x squared minus five x plus nine relative to B. Look in the notes below. If the set B is an ordered basis for a vector space V and vector x is in V, then vector x is equal to some linear combination of the vectors in set B, which means in our case, f of x is equal to some linear combination of the four polynomials in set B. And the scalars, c sub one through c sub n, are the coordinates of vector x relative to the basis B, which means in our case, the scalars, c sub one through c sub four, will give us the coordinate vector of f of x relative to B. Looking at set B, though, notice how the polynomials by degree are degree zero, degree one, degree two, and degree three. So let's first change the order of the function so the terms go from degree zero to a degree three. Once we do this, we will set the polynomial equal to a linear combination of the polynomials in set B. So on the left, we have f of x ordered from degree zero to a degree three as nine minus five x plus four x squared plus seven x cubed. And this is equal to some linear combination of the polynomials in set B. So on the right we have C one times one, where one is the first polynomial in set B, plus C two times the quantity x plus eight. X plus eight is the second polynomial in set B. And then we have plus C three times the square of the quantity x minus one, the square of the quantity x minus one is the third polynomial in set B. And then finally we have C four times the fourth polynomial in set B, which is three x cubed. And now we need to expand and simplify the right side so that we can then equate the coefficients that will give us a system of equations that we can then solve to find C sub one through C sub four. So simplifying on the right, we have C one distributing C two, we have C two x plus eight C two Next, we square the quantity x minus one, which gives us c three times x squared minus two x plus one. And then we have plus three c four x cubed. Next, we'll distribute the c three to clear the parentheses. Distributing c three, we have c three x squared minus two c three x plus c three. Next, we'll group the constant terms, the x terms, x squared terms, and x cubed terms on the right so that we can then equate the coefficients. So on the right, there are three constant terms. We have C1 plus eight C2 plus C3. And there are two X terms. We have C2 X minus two C3 X. If we factor out the X, we have the quantity C2 minus two C3 times X. There's only one X squared term, which is C3 times X squared. And there's also only one X cubed term, which is three C4 times X cubed. Now that we have it in this form, we can equate the coefficients meaning C one plus eight C two plus C three must equal nine. C two minus two C three, the coefficient of X must equal negative five. C three must equal the coefficient of X squared, which is four. And three C four must equal the coefficient of X cubed, which is seven. And now that we have a system of equations, we can solve the system by writing an, by writing an augmented matrix and then writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. So because we have four equations and four variables, we have a four by five augmented matrix where the first row is one, eight, one, zero, nine. The second row is zero, one, negative two, zero, negative five. The third row is zero, zero, one, zero, four. And the fourth row is zero, 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 three, seven. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here to save time. The first row indicates that C1 equals a negative 19. The second row indicates C2 equals three. The third row indicates C3 equals four. And the fourth row indicates C4 equals seven thirds. And these are the values that we need to form the coordinate vector of f of x relative to b. The coordinate vector of f of x relative to b is the vector negative 19, 3, 4, 7 thirds. I hope you found this helpful.